Hi, my name is Larry Nillis of the Schneider Electric Company. I'm the product manager for the Square D brand of NEMA rated Type S contactors and starters. Today I'd like to demonstrate how you can change the coil in this starter from a 480 volt coil to a 120 volt coil with separate control. So here I have a NEMA rated Type S starter from Square D. It is a NEMA size 1 starter. On the nameplate we can see our catalog number. It begins with an 8536. The first letter after the 6 is an S for type S. The C will represent a NEMA size 1. The O will tell me that it is an open starter. Here we have our horsepower ratings. For 230 volt we have 7.5 horsepower. For 460 volt we have 10 horsepower. All NEMA rated size 1 starters will have exactly the same horsepower ratings. The interesting thing about this nameplate, there is no reference to a coil voltage. This particular starter has a 480 volt coil and we can see that by the label on the coil itself. It tells us that it's a, a 484 40 volt coil. Okay, so let's begin to change the coil. Right now this particular starter is configured with a 480 volt coil common control. The tools I will need to replace this coil will be a standard screwdriver, but I'll also be using a Torx screwdriver. Because the Torx screwdrivers can be a little cumbersome to use to loosen screws of that nature, I'm going to use a standard screwdriver. This is a quarter inch screwdriver, and I will have my 120 volt coil that I will be replacing. First so thing I would like to do is take a quarter inch screwdriver and remove the coil wires from terminals A1 and A2. I'll simply pull the wires off, move them to the side so they're out of the way. Next step will be to remove the cover plate. Again, I can use my quarter inch screwdriver. That's a very nice thing about NEMA starters is that you can use very large screwdrivers on all the terminals. And I will remove the, loosen the screws. They are captive screws so you don't have to worry about losing one when you pull the plate off. You can pull the cover plate straight up and off, set it on the table. Once that's accomplished, we have the coil exposed. This particular coil happens to be rated for 40 volts 60 hertz, 440 volts 50 hertz. My next step will be to pull the coil straight up, and when I pull that coil straight up, I get the magnet, and I get the armature that comes out with the coil. I will then pick up my 120 volt coil, Put in my magnet, put in my armature, slide it back into the starter itself. I can now take my cover plate and replace it on the contactor. I have a Torx screwdriver here and I'm using just a standard screwdriver because Torx screwdrivers can be a little cumbersome to use. Every screw on this device has a certain torque rating. The screws for the cover plate have a torque value of 18 to 21 inch pounds. I have my torque driver set to 20 inch pounds. So as I screw this tight, the, the screwdriver will eventually ratchet, telling me that, that I have the 20 inch pounds on that terminal screw or that cover screw. The next thing I'll need to do is replace the wires for the coil. Again, I'm going to use a screwdriver initially to torque them down, to snug them down. We'll put the wires on both terminals. And these particular terminals have a 9 to 12 inch pound rating. So I'm going to get down to about 10 inch pounds. Then I'm going to here again, I'm going to torque it again. Once you hear the screwdriver ratchet, we know they're tight. The last step that I have, I have my 120 volt coil in here, but it's still wired for common control. This will be a separate control device, so I have to remove my wire from L2 to the common terminal on the auxiliary or the overload relay auxiliary contact block. So I'm going to take the screwdriver, same screwdriver, loosen that terminal, pull that wire off, and then I'm going to come up to the terminal at the top on L2, 
going to remove the screw completely because we have a ring terminal on that wire and I can pull that wire out and now I have my contactor with a 120 volt coil wired for separate control. Thank you for joining us today. If you would like more information on these products, please look for it on our website. Thank you.